Hello, and welcome. I'm gonna start off by saying, you don't realize how crappy your webcam is. Oh my god, I'm gonna shake my table the whole time. Until you have to enlarge a picture of yourself. <laughs> anyway, my name's Mama Foxy. Um, I was actually tagged for the wants to battle thing that Bird Keeper Toby started by both Agent Ocelot and Zerosian, so make sure to check their channels out. I'll have them somewhere on the screen. Uh, thank you guys so much for tagging me. I appreciate it. This is kind of weird, though. <laughs> like, it's easy to play a game and be able to talk about the game, but having to stare at yourself on screen is, is a little different. Anyway, so pretty much this is about answering questions about why you started YouTube and things that you like and then shouting out other players and tagging them. So let's have some fun. Um, the very first question is, why did you choose your YouTube name? I, originally before Mama Foxy, which was a recent change, I was uh, Gaming Fox. And the reason that I chose Gaming Fox is because I played an MMO, or played, uh, called Final Fantasy XIV. And when I created my character on there years and years ago, um, I couldn't think of a name. I was a cat lady called Amiko. And so I chose Foxy. It felt appropriate. And I couldn't think of a last last name because it makes you choose a first and last name. And I chose Pants. So my in-game name is Foxy Pants. Well, I did, felt that sounded kind of... Not really sexual, but in that sense. So I didn't want to do Foxy Pants. I didn't want anybody to think I was here to, to show off anything. Um, so Gaming Fox felt appropriate. I'd be playing games and I liked the whole Fox concept, so I did that. Then one of my fellow buddies on YouTube had mentioned that that name was taken up and you couldn't find me on there. So recently I changed to Mama Foxy and that was because I'm a mom and I wanted to keep with the Fox uh, logo. So here I am, Mama Foxy. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like the video. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon game? My absolute favorite favorite. That's a hard choice. I have a tie and that, that it might not be fair, but I have a tie. Pokemon X, I spent a lot of time on as an adult. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to complete the decks. I filled up boxes and boxes of Eevees just to get a shiny. And overall, I really just love the game mechanics and the character development that that game brought. As a kid, I wholeheartedly enjoyed the GameCube versions, the Pokemon Coliseum and the Pokemon XD. Both of those are great games and they're a lot different than the, the handheld versions of it. If you've never played it, please go try it or watch a YouTube video on it because they're really great games that just don't get enough credit. So if you're ever looking for a new Pokemon game to play, they're really great. Uh, our third question is, what is your favorite evil team? That's a hard one for me because I don't really care for the evil teams. Like I like the development behind them, but I never really considered one a favorite. I guess the one that means the most to me would have to be Team Rocket, and that's because uh, my very first Pokemon game was Fire, or sorry, Leaf Green. And in Leaf Green, Team Rocket's the main team because it's Generation One. Um, I just I like the development of that story, and I really like Giovanni. Don't ask me why. He's just a buff boy. I don't know. <laughs> He's bald. Maybe I like bald men. Couldn't tell you. Um, but I watched a lot of the anime as a kid and I loved Jesse and James. They were my favorite and I loved their little slogans and their songs. So Team Rocket's always had a special place in my heart. Number four, what should your viewers expect from you this year? Well, I don't have big future plans right now. I'm still deciding, but I am going to be beating the Pokemon Shield Surprise Lock. I will probably be losing the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. We're definitely going to keep up with the Pokemon XD stream. So again, if you haven't played that game, I do stream it every Sunday that I can. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've randomized it. All the Pokemon are shiny anyway. Um, and then today, actually, I finished The Last of Us on PlayStation 4. So I actually decided I'm going to do Death Stranding next, so you'll definitely see that coming in the next few weeks. Besides that, the only other thing I can think of is I really want to do some sort of Nuzlocke of either X or Alpha Sapphire. 
but I want to find something fun to do. Like a challenge, like everybody does randomizers and knows a lot, so I want to find a challenge that'll be fun to watch. So I haven't quite decided that yet, so we'll see. Number five, why did you start this channel? Now this is a question that I know. I'm a mom of two kids and I've been married for five-ish years. But when I became a mom, I really became focused on being a mom, which is fine. I, you know, I wanted to be the best mom that I could be. But I was starting to get into a dark place because all I was doing every day was being a mom, being a wife, taking care of the house, going to work. Repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Um, so I really needed to find something that I can enjoy. And I love playing video games. I didn't really watch YouTube a lot before doing this. Like I'd skim through games when I needed help, like walkthroughs and stuff, but I never really watched anybody. And so I figured, well, I'll do walkthroughs. Maybe I'll help people, like people have helped me. I love playing video games, so why not just create something where I can help other people who also like video games and need some help? Well, I didn't stick to the walkthroughs, and that's because I started meeting some really awesome people on this YouTube community. The first one that comes to mind is Chrisman. Um, I found him, I don't even, I think I found him on Facebook because I was in a bunch of the YouTube Facebook groups. And I started watching his videos and the way he edits them and stuff was just so fun to watch. And then I started finding other small YouTubers and watching how they play the games and do randomized their nuzzle locks and different types of ways to play Pokemon. And I was like, wow, this looks really fun. So I wanted to give it a shot myself. So I kind of walked away from the walkthroughs. The only one that I did was Let's Go. And then started just doing like the Platinum Nuzzlocke and some other games. So. And then it evolved into this and now I just like I have a schedule and I have so many amazing people who comment and like and they come to the live streams and I just you know I can't appreciate y'all enough but it really got me out of a dark place starting YouTube. Now I have something to look forward to when the kids go to bed I'm just not going to bed with them you know and then just getting up to go to work the next day or clean the house so it really has it kind of brought me out, it, not depression, just brought me out of doing the same thing all the time. Okay, let me move on from that. Um, name someone similar with less subs you think your audience would like. So, the biggest guy who comes to mind is you, Dark Mage Walt. The reason being is he's very dedicated. I can tell he cares about what he does and he's definitely very knowledgeable with the games that he plays. He just doesn't have an audience and I don't know if I'm allowed to give you feedback Dark Mage Walt but you know doing thumbnails and kind of letting your titles and stuff stick out more I think will help you with that. You've got a great personality so I think if you can just get noticed you'll definitely take off. So I'll have Dark Mage Walt down below. Definitely check him out. Subscribe if you're feeling, feeling nice today. He's really a cool guy. I think he's just fairly new to this as well and needs a little push to get a little more motivation. And the very last question is to tag three people who want who I want to battle. So you're ready for this. First guy I'm going to tag is a time well wasted. He is awesome. He's got a lot of energy. He does Super Smash Brothers streams. He actually does like a multi-stream. He's got two switches going at once, so he does one first one, and then he does free for all, all in one stream, which is really cool that you can engage with kind of everybody in the chat if you have the game. And if you don't, you still have a lot of fun watching and, and just chatting around and, and, and messing around in the chat. So definitely check him out. JV is the next guy. JV. You're awesome. You know, I've watched you since earlier when you started making videos, but the video that stands out to me most is when you were doing your buff boy on Pokemon Sword, I believe it was. And it was just a lot of fun to watch. So what he would do was he if he met certain criteria in the game, he would have to do workouts. And he's, you know, he's like a workout gym enthusiast, which is really awesome. Good job for being healthy, cuz I am definitely not. Um, and it was really fun to watch him turn Pokemon into a way of working out. So if you have goals this year, I know the start of 2020 and you're trying to lose weight, go check out his Buff Boy walkthrough because it's really a lot of fun to follow along with that. 
Even though I never did the jumping jacks and stuff. I could, I'm not, no. And then the last guy I want to tag is Chrisman. Chrisman was the very, like I said earlier, he was the very first, like, YouTuber I started actually watching. The way he edits his videos is phenomenal. His energy is so much fun. He's just, he's totally different. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing how different he is. And he, he might get crap for it or whatever, but I think it's so fun to watch him. So all them, all those guys will be down in the description below. So check them out. And it's your guys' turn because I'm going to battle you. And now you have to go follow through with these questions, which will also be down below. And lastly, before I end this off, I just want to say I appreciate anybody who tuned in. This was kind of actually hard for me. I could play a game because I can talk about a game. But having to talk about myself and answer these questions was kind of nerve wracking. I was kind of nervous to do this. Probably won't turn out the way I wanted it to, but at this point, I don't care. You know, I'm just here to have fun. I'm not here to make money on YouTube. I'm just here to have a hobby and to meet some really awesome people. And both of those I have achieved right now. And I haven't even hit 200 subscribers. And I don't need to hit 200 subscribers. I just, I want to have fun. I want people to like what I do. And if I don't, please give me feedback. But that's it. I'm not going to get too sappy, guys. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll see you around next time.